All right, we see different parts of Chennai already under water. Heavy flooding owing to Cyclone Migjam that's now uh, right over the Bay of Bengal, resulting in heavy rainfall in many parts of Chennai. And as we see here, while people back those, uh, literally fight those floods, here is a crocodile that's literally crossing the road in the center of Chennai. This is in one part of Chennai where people have spotted a crocodile crawling through, passing a main road as flood situation uh, hits the state. Tamil Nadu Forest Secur uh, Secretary there has responded to this video that's now gone fully viral, saying that this crocodile uh, should not be troubled. Let it go uh, and move with these. They will not trouble you. The crocodile will not harm humans. Allow it to just pass. This is certainly a way... Uh, thanks to the flooding here and the storm, this crocodile seems to be displaced and it's crawling through a main tarred road as it gets to the other side. From one side to the other, people there crossing that area spot it in shock. You see that biker also stopping there in fear. Tamil Nadu Forest Department saying that that this is common, there are crocodiles in some of the water bodies in Chennai. Don't go near water bodies. Allow that mugger crocodile to pass. As we see, uh, see here, clearly this uh, crocodile there causing fear and panic among people in Chennai as they face Cyclone Mikchom. Shilpa Nair, who's tracking those developments uh, with us live. Shilpa, this video that's now gone viral, really uh, giving us a clear picture on how bad the cyclone is in terms of rainfall and flood situation. We see crocodiles displaced moving on tarred roads in Chennai. Well, that's right, Diane Habila. This uh, video, of course, uh, came to light from uh, the Vandalur area. It, it, it's, uh, it was shot near Vandalur in Chennai. Uh, and uh, you can see from the visuals how a food delivery person was, uh, you know, traveling on that road. Uh, and suddenly there is a mugger, there's a crocodile that comes onto the street. This was near a water body that this took place. Uh, and suddenly seeing the vehicles and seeing the light, the mugger, of course, the crocodile goes back into the water body. Now, uh, this video has gone viral on social media platforms. The residents there also have asked the uh, forest department officials uh, to uh, keep a close watch on, uh, you know, incidents like these uh, so that it does not pose any danger for uh, the, uh, the public. And the forest uh, department secretary, Supriya Sahu, has taken to Twitter saying that uh, there are, uh, you know, muggers, mugger crocodiles in several water bodies uh, in and around Chennai, and uh, these, uh, these, uh, 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 this is common, is what they say. But uh, the forest department officials saying that do not, uh, you know, panic and do not. Uh, do not create trouble for the uh, crocodile. Uh, just leave it and it will go back to the water body. And uh, she is also assured that the for forest department is keeping a very close watch uh, on the situation in, in order to ensure that no such uh, uh, you know, accident takes place. Uh, but uh, the situation, of course, is concerning, Nabila, as far as Chennai is concerned. Uh, cyclone, uh, the, the cyclone has, of course, reached around 110 kilometers away from the Chennai coast. And that is bringing a lot of rains. It's dumping a a lot of rains in Chennai, Kanchipuram, Tiruvallur and Chengalpet. These are the neighboring districts of Chennai. So these are the four most affected districts in Tamil Nadu as of now due to the cyclone. And uh, there is not going to be any respite from rain till midnight. That is what weather experts are telling us. Uh, even the IMD is predicting that till midnight or worst case scenario till early morning tomorrow, rains will continue in Chennai. And that of course is extremely bad news as far as the city is concerned because Chennai is one city that has seen devastating floods in the past. I'm just going to request my camera person to show you the visuals around. Yeah. Uh, you know, it looks like a water body that I'm standing on, but this is the Chennai Corporation building. So this wow. is the Chennai Corporation's headquarters. So you can imagine the kind of situation that's unfolding on other parts of the city. It's completely flooded at this point in time. Uh, so that is the challenge. More rains that means more water on the streets and more time uh, for, the, for this water to drain out to the sea. Uh, the, the challenge also also is that several water bodies in and around Chennai, several lakes and several rivers are running full. It, it, these are all already brimming with water. So it is not taking water out from the streets. That is the reason why it's, there is flooding right. uh, at this point in time. So at, at present, Chennai Corporation says they need to wait till the, uh, the rains subside. Only then they can swing into action and install pumps. Look at in that order. visual they there of a bike already, fully buried in water, water, Shilpa. That shows uh, the severity of the situation there. 
knee deep water. Shilpa herself uh, is trying to wade through that flooded uh, pavements right at the Chennai Corporation building. It's uh, shocking to see Chennai face this kind of storm uh, in the recent past. This is possibly the most severe that the, that the state of Tamil Nadu, city of Chennai, has witnessed. And a crocodile quite literally passing through tarred roads really show how people have been displaced. Um, we, we see the, a, a reptile itself on the streets as water has now flooded most parts of Chennai. This uh, cyclone is going to be impacting Tamil Nadu as well as Andhra Pradesh. We know schools have been shut, uh, offices has been, have been closed. This is a situation that they've got to battle for the next two days. But Shilpa, stay with us. We know that hospitals in Chennai, suburbs are also inundated. And that's the images that we're going to show you right here. Krompet. Krompettai Government Hospital, that's next to Chennai, inundated due to rainwater uh, flowing through inside the hospital building. Patients there suffering due to this situation as uh, treatment has to continue, but it's leaving most of those uh, staff, hospital staff members helpless. While the impact of the storm was a lot more visible in suburban areas since last night, light rains have also lashed parts of the suburbs as a result major roads fully submerged due to flooding in that way the government hospital on gst road was also flooded these are images of that premises of the hospital fully flooded without patient wards outpatient wards there who are uh, admitted have to live with this for the next two days this is going to be the situation of course uh, the hospital staff we believe are helping in pushing the water out but this has really caused huge distress at hospital buildings Doctors, public, uh, the patients who are admitted there, the public in general who are looking for treatment, medical treatment, are now facing this hurdle. Shilpa, hospitals in Chennai also inundated, and that's really tragic as we see uh, patients who are admitted. Uh, we know that treatment has to go on, but this is really causing a problem, posing a problem to them. Well, yes, Nabila, uh, that is the situation on ground as of now. You know, water has entered homes, establishments, uh, residential complexes. Uh, you name it, water has entered everywhere because that's the kind of rainfall that Chennai has been receiving since last night. It's been continuous downpour since last night, not, not even a short break. Uh, so you can imagine the kind of rainfall and no city is prepared to deal with that kind of situation, even though uh, the government here had, uh, you know, focused on laying storm water drains and improving on the existing structure. This kind of rainfall, no city can handle. And that is what precisely we're seeing on ground. Uh, and even here, you know, the Ripon building area, just close to this are two government hospitals. Now, again, when we were on our way, we saw how uh, the, uh, the way to those hospitals, those important government hospitals have been completely cut off because the water levels have just gone up. The ambulances itself can't go inside the hospital and the ambulances are now being parked on the main roads. It's not even parked on the uh, hospital, in the hospital premises. So that is the situation uh, across Chennai. Uh, not sounding alarmist, but it is very, very concerning what is unfolding on ground. And uh, considering the fact that, uh, you know, the rains are not going to subside until midnight at least, uh, uh, it is, of course, very, very uh, grim, the situation on ground. The only prayer and hope for all people in Chennai at this point in time is for the rains to subside and for things to go back to normal. But that, of course, will take uh, some time because only once the water recedes can, uh, you know, uh, they drain out water from the streets. That, again, will take a lot of time. Uh, so rains at, are non-stop. And it's going to go on for the next two days.